Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use DVD to Xbox to rip your original Xbox games onto your soft modded Xbox. Okay, so first of all make sure your Xbox is soft modded. If you haven't, don't worry, I've got videos covering that. There'll be links in the description. Second thing, if you've already got DVD to Xbox installed on your original Xbox, you know, feel free to skip, you know, start this video. Also, if you've already got the Xbox Extras disc burned to a CD, I mean a DVD, which is what we're going to do on this PC portion of the video, feel free to skip to the Xbox part of this video. If not, and you need to see all of it, let's get going. First of all, Googie, Googie, Google Rocky 5 Xbox, not Googie, and let's go to the GitHub link. I'll provide everything that you will need. And let's go here and just click download zip. You will start downloading in a second. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it. it. Takes a little while, so just be patient. And you want to right click it, extract all, click extract, and this will start extracting. Okay, so I find the speed does you know speeds up sort of like that and then sort of slows down. While that's extracting, let me show you the other two things that you need is IMG burn. You spell it correctly. And go to the download link. Click any of the mirrors. Whichever works for you. First one you define. Click this download button. It will start downloading. Next you want to get hold of WinRAW. We won't be using this directly, but something from this folder will be using it. As you can see, sped up to slow down. So just click download, download, and it should start downloading. There we go. Okay. So has it all downloaded? Yes. Next, what you want to do is install IMG Burn. Click yes. And next, accept, next. And these two options should suffice unless you really need the others. You know, if you're a bit more advanced, you just feel free to select them. You can click browse and install it into a different location. I already installed in software on my D drive, hence why it's picked up that location. Click next, click next. And you don't need to click show details. This is something that I've always liked to since I was a kid. Uh, let's just open this up to some advert. And we can click finish. We don't need to open that yet. Next, what you want to do is install WinRAW. And again, feel free to install it wherever you want. Install. And feel free to associate it however you want. I use 7-zip mainly, so I don't need it for that. Click done. Next, what we want to do is go to the Xbox Soft Modding Tool Master in here. Scroll down. You want to double click this build xiso.bat. And this will start building the ISO of our Xbox Soft Modding Extras disc. As you can see, it is launching a WinRAW in the background automatically. And that's what we needed WinRAW for. Okay, so this shouldn't take long. It's nothing that we need to do. We just double click here and wait, and the ISO will appear here. It's going to be about 600 or so megabytes. And there we go. Next, what we want to do is actually burn this to a disc. So make sure you have a DVD. And I recommend DVD dash R, so DVD minus R. I'm using some verbatim DVDs, they were you know, relatively cheap. And you want to go to IMG Burn now. It can take a little while for you to launch up, even though I have pressed it. I didn't see why I moved my mouse away, so just wait patiently. Click right image file to disk. It will, if you've only got one DVD drive or one drive, then it will automatically set up that one because I've got two picked up the one that had an empty disk. And you want to deselect verify, do not select that. Go to open and find wherever your ISO is. I'd already you know burnt it, so it's there. And go open and go to right speed of four. Obviously, just the one copy. And what you want to do now is press this little button right here. I'm not going to press it because I've already got it, you know, written. But what you want to do is press that. After a few minutes, it will basically make a sound. IMG burn will, so just make sure your volume's on. That's just to tell you that the process has finished. Once that's success successfully done, you will have a Xbox Extras disc. So we'll switch over to the Xbox now, and using that disc that you will have just burnt, we will install DVD to Xbox and rip a game directly onto the Xbox hard drive. So I'll see you in, well, in a second. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually launch up the DVD 
extras soft mod disk that we burned. And from here, we can install DVD to Xbox. So you just insert this into your Xbox. And as you can see, up the top there, it's saying closing, you'll recognize the other game, even though it's not a game, but that's fine. Press A on launch disk, doesn't matter the later on then you know say everything or it's part of it's clipped. Doesn't matter, you'll launch this up and do do away patiently now. Okay, so what you want to do is go to applications. And there's quite a few things here, but we're only interested in DVD to Xbox. This will allow us to rip it to Xbox, and you can choose what you know partition, what drive to install it to. When I hover over F, I get a little tick because I've already installed it to that. But I'm going to reinstall it. So if I press A, it says you know, install it. If if there's currently application residing there, it will be overwritten. I'm happy with that. And so it will install it. it. Doesn't take very long to install this, so just wait patiently. Okay, so that has now been installed. So what we want to do now is actually take the disk out. I haven't closed the tray yet because you can do, but I'm going to be putting in Sonic Heroes for this disc right here in a second. So now what we want to do is actually go to Applications. It will appear right there. Go to DVD to Xbox. Just wait for it to launch again. Should be pretty quick. Should be a few seconds to launch up. And probably heard me take the disc out. Let's whack this into the Xbox. Then there's a bunch of settings here. Feel free to go through it. There's a built-in file manager as well. There's a game manager which allows us to see the games that are currently installed and actually delete them as well. But the only option we're interested in is in this one. And as you can see, it has now detected the game which is Sonic Hero. So press A on this. It's asking us where do we want to put it. You always want to put it in a game folder. Regardless, it always has to be in a game folder. And my e partition has hardly any space. It's just roughly four gig, about five gig. And e partition never has that much anyway. My f partition has a lot because I've upgraded my hard drive. If you want to check out the video on how to do that, or the video on how to, you know, actually soft mod. This Xbox using the Rocky 5 soft mod, feel free to check out my video for that. So we want to select this option. Maybe you got a G or a H partition. Feel free to select them with the game. And if you press Y, as you can see like literally down there, if I press Y again, there's an ISO, ISO Ripper and Normal. We want Normal for this. ISO Ripper will actually get the ISO, just put it there, and then you could possibly connect this up using SCP. Again, another video that I've created and actually get the ISO from it for whatever reason. Maybe you want to back it up, distribute it. Totally up to you. I'm not, you know, commenting or judging. You can do whatever you want. But what we want is it on normal because this will get the folders and the files off it and allow us to play it. So click A now. And the destination path, that's fine. You can rename it with X, but I'm happy. You, A does not work here. You need to press the start button now and it'll start copying everything over. And that's it. That's literally all there is to it. So this does just take a bit of time. So what I am going to do is just pause the video. Because I'm sure you don't want to watch this. Pause the video and then I'll resume it when it is complete. And I'll just show you the you know where the game is. Pretty self-explanatory but I want to show you that anyway. So let me just pause it um, right now. So as you can see, it is now done. It says files copied, 3,884 and zero failed copy, which is great. And copy duration took a total of 14 minutes and 51 seconds. So it is good that I did pause it. Now you just press the start button. And if you go to game manager, also the disc has been ejected. So it does that automatically. 
as you can see, Sonic Heroes is now here. If I was to press A, it would launch it. Here there are some options as well for deleting it, deleting game saves, etc. And you can also, so if we go back to the dashboard, it will also appear in game right here as well. So that's probably where you'll launch the game up most of the time once it's already been ripped. So obviously DVD to Xbox is great for ripping it. And you could technically just open that all the time to launch it. Don't see any reason why you would. I only, I only use that for managing games. So, you know, ripping games, deleting games, that sort of stuff. So yeah, that is it. So that's how you use DVD to Xbox to rip an original Xbox game onto your soft modded Xbox. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.